Hello everyone, this is Kray and our siege battle just started, so let's go inside and see who we're up against. Lazy time again, what? <laughs> what the hell man? Bro, 8-0-0, zero, zero. look at that, they're gonna get another win here. <laughs> so Cloverleaf is the second guild, we'll take a look at their defense here. Ophelia defense, pretty interesting. Dark Siri, Asher, Chilling, and the Emily Jasmine, Odin Tower, and last but not least, more Chandra kind of lineups, alright? On Lazy Time side, I think no-brainer, this is their Maximilian Naftis defense. Tower 7, Dark Siri, Chilling, and the Emily, a full tower of that. Tower 8, Kiki, Sienna, Kiki, Kiki. <laughs> And last but not least, the Sonia Tower. We'll be running the Cheongpong, Tiana, and Daniel over here. I recall we won with this lineup before against the Ophelia, Tilmers, and the Byeongcho. So we just need to land the Serious Matter pushback onto that fire unit. That is the most important. We got everything on 100% accuracy as well. So we should be able to land our shit unless we get really unlucky with the resistance check. Come on, Cheongpong, one job. Okay, that is good. However, we didn't get the increased cooldown time onto this Tiomar still. Uh oh. Oh, nice stun. I'll take it. That is huge. If not, I think something dies on my end. <laughs> Can we just do as much damage onto this unit? Yep. Tiomar needs to go down, alright. Can we get a stun here, please? Jumpong. Please. Oh, no stun. Uh-oh, I don't like the additional turn. Wow. We need to kill off this Byeongcho. Okay, perfect. Now, Ophelia does not have heal, right? So we shouldn't be that afraid. I think we should be able to bring it down. Yeah, we can't use any skills yet. <laughs> Man, the two turns invincibility is so annoying. Nice trip. Okay, push back. Very good. Continue with the serious meta. Last hit, and this should secure the win. Moving onwards, we'll be fighting this Maximilian, Lionel, and the Kinky. I think the Hey Gang team here works pretty well. We got 85% accuracy on our Sien bomb. Yeah, we got extra 50% attack power from Hey Gang, and Wusa will be providing the immunity, right? So over here, we boost up, we go for the Wish of Immortality. Please, Sien, don't die. Okay. Oh, only one Despair stun. 16k damage, wow, this Kinky hits hard. We got a land bomb. Tree bomb. Okay, very good. I got no choice but to try to heal up a little bit here. Is that bomb enough to kill off the Kinky though? I'm not really sure. And I cannot touch him yet. Stun! Oh wait a minute. He needs to die here please. He's still alive. Wait. Strip. Okay I'll take that stun. Now we can go for the shield again. Yeah, additional turn. You can't live steal this. <laughs> wow. Pretty close. We cannot avoid the Nat 4 tower. So for this one, I'll be bringing in a full 100% resistance, Jewel Tan, and the Feliria. Ainu will be our damage dealer. So I made a misplay before where I ran some sort of triple revenge Jewel Tan without 100% rest. It didn't work. <laughs> yeah, we got stun up left and right. So this time, our resistance looking pretty good. There we go. Alright, I like that. Yeah, take all the damage back, my friend. We need to land the uh, armor break though. And stun. Very nice. Our Ayuno is moving. Okay, this should kill. Oh, look at the damage output, man. Yeah, maybe in the future, I want to change my Faleria to like... S2 accuracy or something like that. <laughs> Always seem like we cannot land the pushback, like in terms of the debuff, you know? So we're getting stun up again, but I think even if we lose our Valyria here, 
Aljutan and Ayuno should be enough to bring down these two units because they do not have any heals. As you can see, the Chilling just killed himself. The Siri so low on health already. <laughs> just from the Jotan's passive. We'll be fighting this defense again, so I do have four sets of this Jotan, Ayunu, and Feliria. If we need to, then I'll use all four because it's lazy time. We cannot troll around too much. I can also run the Vitra lineup if I need to. The Huadam, Vitra, Rakuni. I think that one is also pretty safe against it. But let's just exhaust this lineup first. Okay, nothing done on their end. We gotta kill off this Emily. <laughs> Ah, oh, Jotan's passive is so nice. Look at that reflect damage, man. The chilling, we haven't even touched him yet. He's already below half-life. <laughs> okay, just go down, my friend. Yeah, our Felira can sustain that. Think this one, no problem whatsoever. No stuns coming out from the Dark Siri. We'll finish off the chilling. And our Felira will be able to soak up all this damage output. I think no issues, right? There we go. We are halfway through with our swords and we're gonna be fitting in the Byungchul, Etna, and Huadam over here. So we do have heals coming up from Byungchul, HP leader, so that my Etna can be a little bit more tanky as well. And we just need to pray that the Odin aims the win units, alright? So that we can fully utilize the Huadam's passive over here. Okay, goes for the buff. Four stacks only onto Odin, alright? Let's lay out the armor break. We got it onto the Craig, but then I want to kill off the Odin first. So this Odin is very tanky. Oh, I don't like that hug though. Can we strip? Didn't get the strip. Yo. However, Craig is dead. Chandra soon as well. <laughs> yeah, let's just smack his face. And we'll bring down the first life of the Odin. Ain't no way we are losing from here, right? I don't believe we'll ever lose. We can heal up our Huadam back to full life. No stun, but we do have the armor break. Did not get it. And we can follow up with the second skill here with this additional turn. I'm always a little bit afraid when I'm fighting these kind of Savannah Zera because if we get armor broken, I'm not sure whether we can sustain the damage output. So I'm just gonna be double checking my artifacts, having everything on damage reduction from light. <laughs> yeah, my Leo very tanky, plus 40k HP. My Alia as well, 100% resistance. We should be able to resist the Savannah's armor break, right? So let's go. Yeah, I do not want to touch the more. I don't like the stun. No armor break landed. Okay. Yeah, his attack isn't high enough. And that armor Gaiden didn't do shit. <laughs> Alright, let's go. We start working on to the Zeroth. So my Leo on a high crit rate build. Yeah, the damage output is not there. But then... I just need him to tank up the Zeraf's armor Gaiden, right? Because our Fingyan is a damage dealer. Look at that, my Fingyan. It hits 7k. So nice. <laughs> yeah, we can cleanse the stun up. And this Samana is going to drop dead here. Now there's more left all alone. Ain't no way we're losing towards it because his damage output is irrelevant. Very squishy as well. Let's go, boys. The $50,000 defense against the $50,000 offense. Let's see who wins here. This Sylvia faster than my Gianna and is on Violin. What the fuck, man? <laughs> Plus two zero something Sylvia. Holy shit. Wow. And I don't really know what to do here. I do not want to wake up the Giselle just yet. I need her to die towards the bomb. Thankfully, no stuns. Come on, we need to keep the Tianlong at bay. Okay, good. We put a bomb onto the Tianlong's face. And I think with the normal attack here, the Giselle should die. Alright, perfect. We don't need to deal with the invincibility and immunity buff. Tianlong should die towards the bomb as well. So we can start working onto the Sylvia, but holy shit, man. <laughs> Got a little bit scary at the start. Wow. Yeah, insane runes this guy has. Alright, nice sleep. And she's gonna die towards the dot. 
We'll be running the Belial team over here because I think nothing is gonna kill my Camilla. Our Ariel provides the HP leader. We work onto the Chandra until we got the Ignore defense skill coming up from Belial, and then we can potentially snipe off the Burgill after that if it's not hugged. So we'll see the situation later. If it's hugged, then I'll probably aim the Chandra first. Okay, nice freeze. Although we didn't get the crit, a little bit unlucky there. But my Camila's crit rate is a little bit low as well. So we are able to soak up the damage, no problem. Didn't get the freeze this time onto the Chandra, so that's not good. Okay, the hug onto the Burgill. I need my Belial to die, man, please. Aim the Belial. <laughs> man, the Chandra already almost dying. Dude. Okay, finally, man. Oh, we didn't get the additional turn. So, Byungcho able to heal up a little bit. I do not want to lose my Ariel if I can, though. Yeah, the armor break keep on landing, man. Bro, we have violent 100% resistance. Nothing. Okay, fuck off. Nice. <laughs> Good. Okay, here now, all we need to do is to just heal up. We play it safe. Once Chandra goes down, then we turn cycle, wait for our Belial to have the second skill up, and then we can one-shot this Byungchul's ass as well. I feel we are able to cleave this one with the Gemini Leah. Although I rarely use this lineup because, yet again, yeah, the 15% resistance check from Gemini. If we don't land the armor break, I think we are in a world of trouble, right? So this one, we need to pray Gemini. 100% accuracy, by the way. Please. Perfect. Boom. Everything confirmed die. <laughs> yeah, nothing will survive my Leah. We are down to our last sword, and we are going to be bringing in our second Huadam together with the Vitra and Rakuni for this one. So it seems to me like... Our Vitra most of the time will be tanking up the damage output coming up from the Asher and the Amelie. Alright. Oh, look at that. Good damage output already done. However, we need some stuns though. Hey, not you. <laughs> I need to stun you, not you stun me, alright? Come on. Okay, good. We got it onto the Siri. Play some dots here. Nice double stuns. Okay, let's go. We want to kill off the Asher first. Because I do not want to deal with the speed buff and heal. Oh, another nice stun. I think Asher dies towards the dot. Maybe? <laughs> the Emily is killing herself. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, last hit, last hit. Come on, come on. We need to kill it off. Please. There we go. So now no more heals on his end. The Emily also really low on health. Yeah, let's just boost up our Vitra. And we can lay out some more dots over here. Nice stun onto the Siri. We got 10 wins out of 10 in this one. The siege battle has finally ended and we got 268 crystals followed by 596 guild points. We will be able to head over to check out the map layer at the end of that fight. So for this one, obviously lazy time winning it. We came in second and Cloverleaf falling behind at third. Let's head over to open up the rubbish box as well. There's one more shiny left. I am going to pick this one in the middle bottom. Come on, man. Bro. Useless box, man. This one. <laughs> Literally just mana. Okay. However, we do have this all attribute scroll. All right. We'll collect this one. Might as well summon it. So we'll head over to channel 101. Dark Gojo, please, baby. I need the Dark Gojo, man. Can we get it? I really want this unit so bad. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Ah, four star only, man. Shit. LD? Bro, this shit. How many Megumi have I got already, man? I think more than 15. 
Okay, so that's gonna be it for this one. If you do enjoy the video, guys, make sure to like it. And also, if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. I want to make sure that we can hit 20,000 by the end of this year. That is my goal for 2024, alright? Take care, stay safe, my friends. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.